Continuing our exploration from the last video, uh, looking at these methods, we have this check credentials uh, function that if I open up these comments, you can see that we have a uh, comment saying check if the valid persistent cookie has been presented. The cookie exists, uses uh, unique keys retrieved from the database and removed from the single use token. Before checking for the matching pair, uh, expired token are deleted from the database. If the token is valid, data from the stored session is retrieved and added to the current session. So whatever I wanted to tell you is actually in the comment. So if you open up the comment, you can have, uh, have a look at this. If I open up this check credentials, uh, the first comment you can see in here, uh, not mentioning there is no parameter in this method, do not uh, do anything if the cookie doesn't exist. So if the cookie doesn't exist, doesn't do anything here for you. This method calls whenever a user wanted to access the restricted page without uh, logging in. So this method is only called whenever you want to add it uh, uh, to the sensitive pages that you have, like changing your password and etc. The first conditional always checks to see if the cookie is exist. If the cookie su uh, super global cookie does exist, and uh, it's assigned to the disk cookie, which is uh, in your attributes. This cookie refers to this uh, cookie on the top, but there is no here because we're implementing something from the, uh, you know, we're using the persistent properties. If you look, if open up this persistent properties, there is a, you know, uh, something called cookie. If that doesn't exist, this method doesn't, is not going to do anything. So. There is one big if statement inside this to check to see if the, the cookie exists. Then we're going to uh, parse the cookie with the helper method called parse cookie. We're going to have a look at these all of these uh, helper methods in a moment. But let's go to, through the process. So we check to see if the, uh, we are parsing the cookie. We're going to delete expired token before checking the current one. So we're going to uh, you know, run the uh, clear old. If you scroll down, this is the method we're going to call. We're going to have a look at this in a moment. Then we're going to check to see if the uh, cookie token uh, is stored and login. Uh, we're going to log in the user if the token hasn't been used. So this is going to log in the user. And to log in the user, we're going to uh, use the another helper uh, method called cookie login. And uh, we're going to have a look at this in, again in a moment. We're going to generate and store a, a fresh single-use token. Token to the check cookie token here <coughs> with a false uh, as a second parameter. We're going to log in the user. We're going to generate and store a single-use uh, token right here. And then we're going to store the to uh, token to the database and uh, generate a new uh, token and save it to the user's browser. Otherwise, if uh, the cookie doesn't valid or is not valid or if by other words if the cookie has already been used uh, suspect an attack like uh, you know a session hijack and session fixation you're going to delete all token associated with the user key and then uh, invalidate the current session so we're going to say this delete all this is another helpful method we're going to have a look at and then we're going to assign the session super global to something empty you can assign it to maybe even something like that but it's it's good to assign it to simple uh, empty array because you probably you're gonna have uh, an array as a session super global then we're gonna uh, you know create a, another uh, variable called params and then use this session get cookie params and this is gonna get the session cookie parameter and after that, we're going to set a cookie with the session name. So session name is another uh, method that we're using. Let's open up the uh, you know, PHP documentation because PHP documentation is the best resource you can refer to to understand any, any of this. I suggest you to use PHP Storm. In that way, you can actually hold down command and click in each of them to see what they're doing. Uh, and then click on this, there you go. Session name is going to get and set the current session name. So it's going to get the session name and then the second parameter as a set cookie 
you, you, you're gonna name it to nothing, and then because you, you're setting, uh, you're removing the cookie. The best way to remove the cookie is gonna you, you have to set the name of the cookie to nothing, and then uh, you're gonna subtract the 24 hours, uh, with the current time, and then params with the path, with the params with the do domain, and the, uh, on the top we have everything. And uh, because when you assign the session get cookie param, it's going to give you a few things such as path, domain, secure, and HTTP only. And then we're going to destroy the session. This is really important to destroy the session, anything you have in the user's browsers. And then we're going to invalidate the auto login cookie with the set cookie again. We're going to do this again right here. And this is really different than this. It's quite similar if you have a look at this uh, in the same line. But if you closely have a look instead of pram right here we have this, uh, this cookie path as well as domain secure and http only not only we're gonna use you know set everything to something uh, empty such as params path using the session we we are going to we're going to do the same thing for the cookie to you know using this cookie instead of the session because session is some kind of cookie if you remember and we're going to set everything to something uh, empty. So that's all you do for the uh, check credentials. This was something that I couldn't explain in the previous video because it is uh, too much code inside this. So let's have a look at the, some of the helpers method. Uh, if I open up this and then let's keep this open, the first thing we have first uh, helper we're going to have a look at is going to be the parse cookie. So how are we going to parse cookie? Parse uh, each cookie. If you look at this, uh, the first thing we have instead of uh, we we have this. Let's say we have this uh, random cookie with the with your username as well as the pipe and then the random token, right? Like this. The first thing we're gonna do here, we're gonna explode them by by the pop uh, pipe. So we're gonna explode explode them like this. So this is gonna be the first part, username. This is gonna be the second part, right? So that's the first thing you're going to do. Explode them and then save them to the parts uh, using cookie, this cookie. Then uh, what we're going to do, we're going to have two parts in an array. First thing, we're going to assign the parts. You can, you could write this other way around. Uh, you, you want to assign the, the session name, session username to the part one because we are, we are, we're going to have two uh, elements inside one array like this. So first array is going to be username and then the comma the second array is going to be your uh, cook uh, token right so the first index is going to be parts with the index of zero which is username you're going to assign it to the session username the second one you're going to assign it to the token because we're having a token right the rest is about proceeding only if the username is valid so we're going to check to see if the session user key equals the get user key that we the function we I explained to you in the previous video. Then what we're gonna do we're gonna remove the user ID from the submitted cookie token by replacing the string. So we're gonna return their str replace and we're gonna replace the session user key with nothing and as well as token. Otherwise we're gonna if the you know cookie is not valid we're gonna return false. So that's the first function we've looked at. The next one is going to be the clear old. If I open up this, the only thing you can see here, we have a SQL command. The rest of it is just, you know, preparing and uh, binding in, uh, as well as executing it. The first thing you can see is deleting from the table auto login where date add, so we deleting the created token interval with the expiry date uh, if it's less than the uh, two days, uh, you know, uh, time and date. So the now in SQL is exactly the same thing as you type time in uh, PHP. These are the same thing. So that's what this clear old is going to do. It's going to delete all the uh, created one, which is uh, like old one. As it's really self-explanatory. So if you uh, so it's going to clear the old cookies. Next one, we're going to have this check cookie token, and this is going to work closely with the delete all. So this um, check 
cookie token is going to accept two parameters. First, going to, first one is going to be the token 32 digit single use token, and the second one is going to be the Boolean used. So we, we are checking to see if uh, the token is being used, and also we, uh, we're getting the token to check it. So we select, we're counting everything from the table auto login, where the column user key equals the key, and then the column token equals the token. If they are both equal, and then they are, you know, exactly the same thing, it means that the cookie is valid and we can use it. As well as we're checking to see if it's, if it's, it's if it's being used. There are a few reasons why uh, this prepared statement could actually fail. The first one is uh, when you you know use a key and the token uh, does not exist in the table. That could happen because uh, you know the token is out of date and it's already been deleted and garbage collected. The second one is when the token is not valid. The third one is actually cookie is being used. That's why did it, this is very important to add in your SQL statement. And this call user used equals used because if it's been used, this means that your cookie is being hijacked by someone else. That's why we are using delete uh, all uh, in this case because if it fails, we're going to just do this delete all uh, function. So if I close this and open this up, so in that case, we suspect that the cookie and everything has been compromised. That's why we're using this delete from this table auto login where this column user key equals the key we're using. So it does not going to accept any parameter. The only thing is going to do delete all the records uh, associated with the key. So that's, that's the only thing uh, very important. Then we have this uh, cookie login. If I open this up, there are a few lines that we need to explain this. This is process the auto login if the valid token has been presented. So we have our try and catch. So the only thing we're going to concentrate on is going to be these lines. So which we're getting the existing data and then passing this session, this use, uh, session key, user key. We're going to update the auto login, setting the uh, call, uh, column used equals to one because, uh, you know, it, it says, okay, this is, this is being used. Remember, one equals to true because uh, column used is using the Boolean, and Boolean in MySQL uh, are, are tiny ints. So we're going to update it and set it to one where this column use key, then key, and then the token equals to token. So where the, to uh, the user key exactly equals to this, uh, you know, column token, and then we're, you know, assign it to the token as well. So we're checking two conditions. So we're updating uh, setting to one where the column uh, user key equals to the key, which we're uh, getting it from the session, as well as this column token equals the token, which we're getting from this parameter. And then we're uh, generating a new session ID and assign it to true. Generate a new ID and immediately, uh, you know, set the cookie to true and immediately delete the old ones. How you delete the old one? By using this onset. So that's all you need to know about all of these uh, methods at the moment. Uh, and everything is working right now. The only methods you have to have a look at are these three methods. Everything else from this uh, protected are the protected helpers here. So we have a lot of helpers right here, but the only three methods that you're gonna start from are these three methods right here. So we examine everything. The only thing is gonna remain is gonna be its logout function, and then we're gonna have a look at this in the next movie.